I keep in sight rooms longer than yours. Oh, no kidding. It's really cute. His name Hard is Dave. To... Dave, of course. Really? They're all Dave. Yeah. Really? Dave or Mike or Bob or whatever. <laughs> well, uh, I... Uh... You find a guy, we'll have the wedding right here on the show. Like, really? Like Tiny Tim did years ago on the Tonight Show. We'll see if we can crank something up with you. Okay, that'd be really, really great. Here's a, here's a really, 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 really cute guy you might uh, want to meet now. He's at the top of his profession, which is uh, uh, illusionary. Is that is there a word? I, who knows? Uh, he just he made a seven-ton jet disappear once, and uh, on his last CBS Magic special, he levitated himself. Oh, that's, that's not a bad word. That's a, it's an illusion thing. Uh, over the Grand Canyon, this is the wonderfully shifty David Copperfield. And uh, on that uh, on that special I, I mentioned, uh, you nearly killed yourself. You yes, we didn't escape. a dangerous escape trick. Escape, yes, which I've never done. I've never done anything that puts my life uh, in danger. The most dangerous thing I ever did was uh, the, almost embarrassing myself by not bringing the Statue of Liberty back. But it came back mm -hmm. and made it disappear. This is good. You that would be embarrassing. That that would be. Yes. What uh, what happened on the on the CBS special? Then? Well, it was an escape thing. Uh, uh, Houdini did a underwater escape called the water torture cell, and we took it a couple of steps further by putting a 500 pound spike over me on a timer that would go off. And uh, about three weeks before we uh, did the special, uh, we were rehearsing it in the warehouse, and I got kind of tangled in the chains inside the tank underwater with no air in the tank. And uh, I pulled my feet in, but nobody could hear me because it was covered. And I started banging on the side and I couldn't, they had to get me out of there. Uh, and I kind of hurt my foot and I was in a wheelchair for a week. Mm -hmm. That was ju just during rehearsal. That's right. So, but it worked out. It worked out fine on the special. Yes. You have brought a, a young illusionist uh, with you tonight That's who we right. will uh, uh, meet a protege of yours. Not a protege, someone that I saw was very, very talented. Mm -hmm. Really, and, uh, really. Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see him, uh, we'll, we'll see him uh, after this uh, commercial message. Meanwhile, why don't you tell the folks to think about... Time for your song again. I think we're going to dance. <laughs> no, uh, I wanted you just to tell them about, uh, about Project Magic. That... Well, Project Magic is a program that uses magic as a form of therapy for people with disabilities by teaching them sleight of hand, like, for example, can you get a really tight... Oh, that's pretty tight. That's good. See that rubber band over there? Mm -hmm. Watch. It'll go to those two fingers like that. See mm -hmm. that incredible response the audience gave? Well, they're still... They're dumbfounded. That must they, be uh, Sometimes they're gasping, and when they can ungasp, they'll... But in order, in order to do that, I have to open and close my hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we teach magic to people to motivate them to use muscles they wouldn't normally move if they had a stroke or arthritis. And that's uh, in 500 hospitals around the world right now. And so you have uh, people in there teaching? Magicians go in teaching magic. That's Great. a good therapy. therapy. Mm -hmm. All right. We will meet, we'll meet uh, Jeff Justice, uh, new discovery of David's, right after this commercial. Man. Now you can play. And we'll dance. Now. You're looking at the unexpected granola bar. Sitting with uh, David Copperfield, who says that uh, this next fellow is a great magician, and if anybody knows, it ought to He's be... He's a little you. weird. He's where a weird you, magician. Where did you find him? Well, I was in, uh, in New York at a magician's convention, in fact, and uh, uh, he was on stage, and this little, he's a little crazy. He's a little kind of... kind of walks like this. Mm -hmm. He's a little <laughs> strange person, and... Uh, He's got a unique approach to magic. Well, let's hope that he's walked over to our uh, performance area. We'll introduce him now. This is D Jeff. Jeff Justice. All Jeff right. Justice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. To start with tonight, uh, I'd like to bring out a little friend of mine that I've taught to do some tricks. Bring him out here. Come here, boy. Come on. Get that out of your mouth. Good boy. Come here. Ooh. <laughs> no, come on. Stop it. Right. Come on. Look that way. Good boy, come here, sit. Now, this is Rocky, he's a little baby ro Rocky, don't stare at her. <laughs> hey, Rock, don't stare at somebody you don't know. Wait, you know her? <laughs> All right, if you know her, uh, where'd you meet? Oh, dancing, huh? <laughs> no, I love to dance. <laughs> it's pretty smart, too, Rocky. Rock, how much is one plus one? No, that's right. <laughs> Goes up to about five. <laughs> he hates that trick. I don't know why. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is go in like pet shops. 
walk in and go, excuse me, not a paper train these things? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people in the back going, hey, do that again, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Come here, sit. Oh, wait, I got a new trick I wanted to teach him. Hey, Rocky, take this cigarette, hold it in your mouth. Okay, you got it? Oh, come here, get out of my face. All I'm gonna have Rocky hold the cigarette in his mouth. What I'm gonna try to do is shoot the cigarette out of his mouth. <laughs> come on, Rocky, look out there, man. Come on, don't be scared, it's okay. Come on. One. Two. Three. Missed. Oh, you practice it. Come on, it's just a joke, man. <laughs> nah, I don't want you to think that I hate animals, because really, I do love animals. And I couldn't leave without this tale having a happy ending. So there's this tale. How about a big hand for Rocky, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, before I go, I'd like to do one magic trick for you. And I want you to watch real close, because this is going to be like the most incredible thing that you've ever seen in your entire life. Well, unless you saw Debbie Does Dallas, and it's like the second most incredible thing. <laughs> oh, we got some theater buffs, huh? Good. Okay. <laughs> right, watch. <laughs> right, pretty darn good, huh? <laughs> All right, you want me to do it again? Watch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going like, go. Well, I tell you what. Let me just show you how this thing's done. Yeah. Oh, come on, I can't hear you. Yeah. No, come on, everybody, louder! Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you how it's done, and I'll do it for you in slow motion. 